So I take car photography seriously, not just as a job or hobby, but also because I believe that documenting cars and covering motorsports through the eras can be culturally and artistically significant. And as such, I always want to pay respect to the people that shot the pictures that I find inspiring. And that brings me to this photo. The title is often listed as John Cobb drives the Napier Railton on a record run at Brooklyn's or in other places it's called John Cobb in the 24 liter Napier Railton taking the bump on the members banking in 1935. And the photographer is unknown. This is the part where I really wish I could say I've solved the mystery, now we know who shot the photo. But I wasn't able to find out, I'm warning you now so you don't get to the end of this video and get mad like I did at the end of the serial podcast. So I'm setting expectations now. The Napier Railton was an airplane engine car built on the grounds of the Brooklyn Circuit in Weybridge, England. It set the all-time track record there, averaging over 143 miles an hour, a record that was never broken. In the photo, it's hitting the bump on the banking and has all four wheels off the ground. We have this amazing low perspective. We see the movement of the car and it's a great composition of a dramatic foreground and a background that gives you a sense of the circuit and the scale. There's a more detailed caption of the photo from oldmachinepress.com. Cobb takes flight as the Napier Railton transitions over the riverway to the railway strait in Brooklyn. The bridge over the river created a bump that caused faster cars to become airborne, an indication of how Brooklyn's was a rough track. You don't often see cars from this era presented as being fast or sexy or dangerous. To me, the pre-war race cars always get grouped in with a lot of fragile, primitive cars from the early 20th century. And then this photo just slaps you upside the head. It changed my entire perspective about the early days of motorsports when I first came across this image 10 or 15 years ago. And I was recently reminded of how much of an impact this photo had on me when I visited the Brooklyn circuit and saw the track and the banking and the actual Napier Railton in person. When you go to Brooklyn's, this photo is almost a mascot of the museum. It's not obscure, you can buy postcards of it and refrigerator magnets and posters and it's a prominent part of the museum's branding. Once I got home, I thought it would be a worthwhile challenge to see if I could find out who the photographer was and put credit where credit is due. Unfortunately, my 20 minutes of Googling came up with nothing. It appears in a lot of places, but the credit is usually only listed as the Brooklyn's Museum Archive or another archive image library. So I contacted the Brooklyn's Museum to see if they could help me track down the photographer. It was a long shot, but I thought maybe there was a slight chance that they knew, uh, but hadn't listed it on the website for some reason. Within just a few days, a friendly staff member from the Museum Trust responded and provided a little bit of added backstory. Dear Kevin, thank you for your email. I can confirm the photo is part of the Brooklyn's Museum collection. We actually have a photo of several members of the press lying on the track to take the photo. Unfortunately, I'm having trouble finding it to show you. I believe there were many shots taken by a number of photographers. I'm not sure of the exact photographer who took the one which is in our collection. Apologies, I couldn't help any further. Kind regards, Brooklyn's Museum. I think I found the photo she was talking about. This is a low-res version that's circulating online. Getty Images has a higher-res version, which I will link to, but I don't want to incur any legal wrath by including it in the video, although I will borrow from their description. 17th May, 1937, Surrey, England. John Cobb, in his Napier Railton, roars past photographers whilst taking part in the Brooklyn's Gold Trophy coronation race. Even the dates aren't consistent. This says 1937, and the other photo is claimed to be 1935. In all likelihood, we may never know who took the photo due to the nature of how photos were shot and distributed at the time. But maybe someone has an old book out there that has the names of some of the photographers who were out there shooting that day. I would love for this to be resolved. I think it would be amazing to have someone to credit, but I also just want to share a little bit about this image that made a big impression on me and opened my eyes to both car racing and photography in the mid 1930s. I cannot imagine being John Cobb behind the wheel of that monstrous race car going 140 miles an hour on the banking with almost no safety equipment. But 
Spare a thought for the photographers literally hanging over the track who were also risking their lives to tell John Cobb's story. That's it for this video. I welcome any tips or feedback in the comments and I want to wish a special thanks to the Brooklyn Museum for looking into that for me. If you're in the London area, Brooklyn's is just an hour away by train and it's an incredible museum unlike any place else I've been. Please uh, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks.